Mwenyekiti wa viongozi wa kidini kauti Sioro Interfaith Sheikh Ahmed Set anahimiza wazazi kuwa waangalifu na wana wao aso wakati wa likizo ili atakuwazuia dhidi wao kuhusika katika dhuluma za kijinsia. Si kama viongozi wa dini hii mambo ya violence fujo kwa jinsia yoyote ni dhambi. Any violence against any gender in religion is defined as uh, uh, is defined as uh, sin. That's religion. And we respect women. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Any disgraceful man will mistreat women disgracefully, and any graceful man will treat women gracefully." That's the start of religion, both in Islam and Christianity. Women are our mothers, women are our sisters. We have to protect them and give them extra care so that what they produce in this world, what they bring in in this world, should be total human beings. When we disgrace them, when we 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 have violence against them. Then ensure that we are not going to have a sweatable society. This is the situation. So, in brief, we are against all the verses that have been mentioned here, FGM, and it is not only this 16 days activities. Religion started long time ago. It's only people do not understand what the theological teachings are. If you read the theological teachings of Islam and Christianity very well, you will find that in safe heaven for women is religion. Number three, na waomba kina mama na wazee ambao wako hapa tuwalinde watoto wetu. Wawe wa kiume, wawe wa kike. Lakini kwa sababu eh ile tunaita uchunguzi imeonesha kwamba wasichana na kina mama ndio wanadhulumiwa zaidi na kilio ya mama kilio ya msichana inaenda juu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu haraka sana na inaweza kutuletea shida mama ni pepo ya dunia sio mother is the paradise of the world and we should give her all the respect she deserves watoto wetu tuwapeleke shule wamalize shule watoto wetu hata wakitaka kuolewa kulingana na sharia zetu ni lazima hawa watoe idhini si namna hiyo hii ni amri ya Mwenyezi Mungu lakini vile vile tunawaomba kina mama and all the organizations that are here in your component also you must include decency because sometimes tunawatetea kina mama wasichana lakini pia tunaona kuna kasoro kidogo kidogo upande huo sio ni lazima hiyo irekebishwe. Ya mwisho mimi niliweka sahihi state house resolution ya kumaliza FGM by 2022 on behalf of elders and religious leaders. We had a national conference in 2019 and I was one of the elders who signed the resolution in ending FGM by 2022. And I'm happy After signing that resolution we have discussed with the elders tumeongea na vijana tumeongea na kina mama na mashirika yote hata na viongozi wa kidini tumesema tuachane na FGM sawa sawa FGM haina msingi ya kidini na haina msingi ya kijamii ni kitu ambayo watu wanaitumia kwa njia mbaya mwisho hapa imesomwa taarifa kwa county government na mimi pia kwa niaba ya wenzangu nimeweka sign naomba county government please discuss with the governor on this issue let us have safe houses not only a safe house a decent safe house with proper compound with proper facilities with proper budgeting that's the time you people will be blessed But what is going on currently 
mtoto anadhulumiwa anarudishwa pale pale tunarudisha kwa mdomo ya fees eh we infringing on their rights and you we people from the county government including us we are going to be accountable to god when these young people cry they don't have safe houses they don't have proper protection so i'm emphasizing to our able director please take up this thing seriously if you want us as religious leaders elders we can also approach the governor but that one we leave it to you finally anataka kuomba hii mashirika yote ambayo yoko hapa please whenever you have programs include elders most of your programs are exclusive of elders even trips i've seen to rwanda to where we don't see elders going <laughs> where is the problem and we are the custodian of the culture eh? we are the owner of the estate called kenya so whenever you have programs don't disregard us don't fear us we will support you we have the wisdom eh? and we have to be led by three things young people cultural values which are good religious values plus national values in the absence of those three things then nothing is complete